here in the Grapevine, Texas at the Gaylord Texan Hotel and Convention Center for the NASQW, which is the uh, National Association of Sporting Good Wholesalers show. A lot of manufacturers in the industry set up to show their products to the distributors in the industry. It's sort of like they do a chuck show uh, showing dealers things, but here they're showing the distributors so they can get stuff uh, ordered for the next year, get stuff ready for chuck show and all. This gives us a couple of months jump on stuff that we're going to see at chuck show, a lot of it, and a lot of uh, media don't cover this show, but we have for the past few years. But we'll see some new stuff coming out, and it's uh, so a really good place to uh, show you some new products that are coming out. Uh, that are on the market now are coming out very soon in the gun industry. So we're up here going to have a look at a few of these things and uh, uh, make some video, take some still pictures, and let you know what they got. We're at the NASGW show. I'm standing here with Sharon. She told me about some of her new guns she got, particularly a line of uh, guns particularly for use by women. She wants to tell you a little bit more about them, okay? Go ahead, Sharon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sharon. Um, I wanted to introduce my new line of guns, our new line of guns, uh, brought in by EAA, imported, uh, specifically starting with Tanfolio. We have a compact polymer. It's glitter included in the polymer, so it's built in. We've um, made each gun sparkle, very, very nice, and uh, it's going to be packaged exclusively for women. So uh, we've designed the whole line so that it is uh, geared more towards women. It comes, this gun specifically, polymer compact, uh, 13 plus 1 capacity, has a double action, single action trigger. Um, we've also made the slide a lot easier to rack, so it's easier to load. Uh, it also comes with a fully adjustable sight and um, one magazine. And then, of course, we will have the packaging such so that it is for women. Now, it comes in a variety of colors, so there will also be a variety of calibers. 380, 9mm, and 40 Smith & Wesson. So just to name that gun specifically, but we also have shotguns, rifles, pistols, both in over, under, and side by side. Italian and Turkish brands together. So we'll go this way, Bob. Right. Let me show you this 10mm. Um, EAA has always made some of the finest pistols, and they make one of the best 10mm on the market, if not the best. This witness, this is the uh, Limited Pro. It's got a great trigger on it. It feels good, it can handle 10 millimeter pressures from here to eternity. You're not gonna shoot your gun apart like some will. Uh, some high pressure 10 millimeters will, will mess up a gun in short time. The Witness can take it, so if you, if you like a 10 millimeter like I do, check out the Witness. They also got it 45 and other calibers, but uh, I really love the 10 millimeter. They're one of the best games in town if you're a fan of the real 10 millimeter. I'm standing here in the Hazard Defense booth with Gary Ramey, and they've got an interesting uh, version of this little shotgun I want to show you. Go ahead, Gary. Thank you very much. This is a Hazard Defense, and we make a pocket shotgun. This is our version of titanium. We also make it in stainless steel. What makes this different is our product is completely snag-free, as you can see right here. It's very small, very compact, and it shoots a shotgun shell. So this is a pocket shotgun, 45 long Colt or 410. And with all the personal defense rounds, this makes the great uh, personal defense pistol. It also has a storage compartment in the rear if you want to store a couple of extra rounds in there. It's completely snag-free. The trigger is on roller bearings. So it's a completely smooth trigger pull. We call it a combat brake because it's completely smooth to the break point, and then you pull it through. So again, pocket shotgun, hyzer defense, and uh, completely stainless steel or titanium. It'll be available soon. Thank you, Gary, and he's up. He's probably the one for review here pretty soon, so y'all keep watching. He said we'll have one in, we'll do a review on it just as soon as we can. So thanks, Gary. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We're here in the XS booth with Tanya and Stephanie. They're going to show us a couple of uh, versions of their new sites they got. They make some really good stuff. Makes it easy to hit with. You know, makes it, uh, XS sites make it easy for me to get on target quicker. And usually in a fight, the one that gets the hit first is the winner. The other guys just uh, laying there bleeding out. But anyway, they're going to tell us a little bit about some sites they got. Go ahead, ladies. Our first one, our Express Threat Introduction Sites, our XTIs. We had had a standard dot, and we just came out with a big dot. So it's a much larger front sight uh, for just faster acquisition. Um, if, you're, if you have a scope or anything on top of your AR, all you have to do is just take the rifle, 40, 45 degrees, and then you have pistol sights on the outside for those close-range targets. 
We've also partnered with Troy Industries to offer from the factory our CSAT rear aperture sight and our visible front tritium sight in their flip-up battle sight bases. So they're available now through Excess Sights. Visit us online at www.excesssights.com and upgrade your AR today. Standing here at the m and booth with Michael. He's going to tell you about a, a little bit about some new product lines they got coming out. Some good looking guns here behind me. He's going to explain them a little bit further. Go ahead, Michael. So, we just introduced right now the new PDW. It's the 22. This is a pistol version of a famous known uh, rifle, actually. Full aluminum construction. Uh, actually, the barrel is uh, cold hammer forged. And everything is feels and looks like a real deal, but it's a 22. So we have it in a version of a uh, rifle version. It's a fake silencer to make it 16 inches, and with the uh, side folding stock on it. So and every single feature is like the original deal: uh, side folder, 30 round magazine, and as you can see, it feels and looks like the real deal. You can check it out. Uh, we're here at the MMC Armory booth. I'm talking to Eric Davis. He got some really interesting uh, rifles here and uh, some uh, short rifles. He's going to talk to you a little bit about it. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, uh, one thing about all our rifles is that we machine the majority of the components in house, so we're very vertically integrated. We actually machine our own upper and lowers out of 7075 T6 built uh, M4 feed ramps. The barrels are 4150 from Olive Van Deen steel. We nitride treat them. All the rifles that are 14.7 and 16 inch have a mid-length gas system, so very nice, low recoil. <laughs> we uh, use Troy handguards, and we uh, use the Roger Super Stock on the uh, tactical and the recon model. And all of them have a nickel boron coated bolt carrier group that is full auto rated. And then we also have a couple of interesting rifles. Our uh, AC, Advanced Carbine, it has a reduced buffer system in it that allows it to use a traditional looking stock, but be almost two inches shorter than the standard rifle. And then when you add in 14.7 barrel, your hair under 29 inches. Makes a great patrol rifle that doesn't you know, require a uh, SBR or class three requirement. And then to get ultra small, the little rifle, we have our PDW, which is under 20 inches with a seven inch barrel. It is uh, designed to run off the center of the chest when fully collapsed, or off the collarbone when extended. Again, it's very tiny, under 20 inches. Thanks for having us. Our uh, rifles on the short barrel side is that we have our own uh, blast shield, which is designed to redirect not only uh, high frequency sounds away from the shooter's ears, but also low frequency sounds in the, via flanking. It is uh, very unique to shoot. It's uh, very uh, easy on the ears compared to a uh, flash hider or a, a typical crank style device. Sitting here in Taylor's booth with JC. He's going to tell us a little bit about their uh, Alaskan rifle. It's a dandy little rifle. He's going to explain a little bit of fun. Go ahead, JC. Thank you very much. This is our 1892 Alaskan takedown. 16 inch barrel. Like I said, takedown gun. We're going to do it in 357 Magnum this year. Goes together, comes apart very easily. Twist it together, screw your magazine tube back in. Ready to go. It's going to be a 16 inch barrel, comes with Skinner sight, which is a great sight picture. Uh, high vis front sight, deep in the rear, holds 7 plus 1 rounds of 357 Magnum. It's going to be a very great selling rifle. It's a hardwood over, so, or soft touch rubber over hardwood, so you can drill it for sling swivels, drill and tap for a scout scope as well. Uh, we did it in the 16 inch to keep it short, compact for a good brush gun, good carry gun, take down, put it in your backpack, throw it in the truck, whatever you need to do with it. Great survival gun, good hunting rifle. Um, it's going to be a very, very popular rifle. We're very excited about it and uh, we're ready to rock with them. Thanks, Jason. Not a problem, bud. Sitting here at American Tactical Booth, I'm talking to Jamie. He's going to tell us about some new products from ATI they got coming up. Very interesting. Go ahead, Jamie. All right, today what we have is we have a brand new stripped polymer lower with metal inserts. 
This is a brand new, unprecedented, with our patent pending attached to it. What we have is our polymer stripped hybrid with metal inserts. We can build out full 556, 308, 22, you name it, this will handle it. Hey everybody, this is Jamie from American Tactical Imports with the fully functional MP40 made by GSG, German sport gun. This will be a 22 long rifle. This here is made with the 18 inch barrel and the rifle model. We will also offer the pistol model later this year. Comes with an underfolding stock, and you can always find this at www.americantactical.us. We're at a Bond Arms booth. We're talking to Gordon Bond. He's come out with a new finish on his gun. He wants to tell you about, and there's some uh, different features on it. It's not on our full line, such as Snake Slayer. But everybody knows I love a Snake Slayer. Keep one nearby all the time. But uh, these guns, it's like. This color finish, he's going to tell you what kind of finish you got on it, and what's the Bible tell you. Go ahead, Gordon. Alright, hi guys. This is the, uh, uh, it could be called the tactical backup. Uh, our original backup, which we're just introducing, has the regular uh, polished uh, stainless steel finish. And a lot of people, uh, they, they didn't really like the reflective, you know, the, it just shined a little bit too much for a carry conceal. So what we did was we went ahead and uh, matte finished it. We did a different coating on the uh, on the frame itself, and we have the rubber grip. And this this both of these uh, this is a 45 ACP. This is the nine millimeter. We we'll probably have a uh, 40 Smith and Wesson barrel with it also. You can still interchange the 410 barrels with uh, the different models, but this will uh, it's a very small package. The total length is only four and a half inches and uh, it's a really nice package to shoot. And this 45 ACP uh, can be pretty accurate at seven yards. Uh, uh, I, I was able to do head shots with it without uh, any issues at all. So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully you check it out. It's a new model. We should be getting that to the market here fairly soon. And uh, these are the backups, the regular backup and the uh, more tactical backup. Thanks a lot, guys.